Okay, so I have a lot of students saying they can't do Active Directory and they're getting issues uh, with the directions. And so I'm gonna go step by step on server 2022, how to set up Active Directory so that we can uh, get past this, right? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to manage, very top over here, hopefully you can see it. And we're going to add roles and features, okay? Once we get to add roles and features, we're going to uh, hit next. And then we're gonna do role-based feature installation. We're gonna hit next again. Then we're going to go to select our server, which is gonna be this one right here, Microsoft, um, uh, whatever it is, right? It doesn't matter. Yours is probably gonna be different than mine. Just select the one that's available. You're gonna hit next again. And then at the very top, we need to do Active Directory. We're gonna do Active Directory Domain Services. So we need to put a little check there. It's gonna ask us if we wanna do that. We're gonna add all those features. So we got Active Directory there, right? And we're also going to do Net Framework. Where is Net Framework? Do, 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 do. We're gonna to go to Features, and then Net Framework 3.5, we're gonna add that. We're already doing 4.0, but we're gonna do 3.5 as well. We're gonna hit Next, we're gonna hit Next again, we're gonna do Confirmation, and then we're just gonna hit the Install button right here, okay? And it's gonna start its install and go through that process. All right, that took about five minutes. We're gonna hit Close. Then you'll notice we've got this little notification right here for uh, post-deployment configuration. We're gonna promote this server to a domain controller. Can you see that? So we're gonna click that. And then we just need to add uh, the domain controller. We can add a domain controller to an existing domain, uh, add a new domain to existing forest, or add a forest. Those are our three options. We're gonna add a new forest right there. We're gonna name our root domain. This needs to be your last name. So in my case, I'm gonna put it Kendrick. I'm gonna hit next. Uh, DNA saying proposed Active Directory, show more. Mm -hmm. DNA should be unique and fully qualified. Okay, so it wants more stuff. All right, so we're just gonna name it Kendrick OU, I believe is what they wanted you to put anyway. And because I'm dense today, we're gonna add a .com on there as well. That should let us go through, okay. So now it's going through and it's adding that forest in there. All right, we have to do a functional forest. We're gonna do 2016. Uh, if you notice, I could go down to 2008, but we're gonna keep it at 2016. We're gonna keep both of these the same. We're gonna put in that password. It doesn't matter, because this is a, this is a, uh, a uh, uh, virtual machine, right? So you just have to make sure that your passwords match. We're gonna hit next. It's gonna say, do we wanna delegate for the DNS? At this point, we're just gonna go next. Then it's asked for a BIOS domain name. Um, in this one, we could do an example. We're waiting for it to kick in. You can see it's loading up there, right? And you can see this net dials domain name. It pretty much did what I told it to do. We're gonna do next again. Let it continue loading. It's gonna ask for pass next. And you can see that it does all of these paths. We're gonna hit next again. And again, we're just gonna hit next. It's going through a prerequisite checklist. And we're gonna install, okay? And installation should be over in a few minutes. Uh, as it's going through this, pretty pretty cut and dry, right? I mean, this isn't this isn't rocket science at all. But I can understand why. I was reading the directions for how uh, this assignment was going through, and it, it kind of surprised me. So we're gonna let it do its thing. It's still loading. This is gonna take a few minutes. All right. So finally, it's done, and it's saying it's being restarted. We're gonna hit close. We're gonna let it do its thing. Looks like it's done. Successfully configured as a domain controller and it's just gonna restart. Congratulations, that's it, you're done. That's your domain controller. Um, if you're having more issues, let me know and we'll create another video about it. So I hope that helps everybody out. Thanks, bye.